I guess I dressed appropriately today, color match to the car, and what a beautiful car it is. A 1960 Chevrolet Impala, horizon blue with the white roof. These are the colors it was born, and it's just slick. This car is just wet looking. All the chrome glistens, beautiful. Under the hood is a 348 motor, power steering, power brakes. Someone's added an air conditioning system. Upgraded with a turbo 350 automatic trans and disc brakes up front. So it's got all sorts of goodies, even has satellite stereo. Clean, southern, rust-free car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can take your time and look at over 100 pictures top to bottom. Read the information about the car. And that's where you will find the price tags and a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and that way you will be notified when the new videos are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Pretty certain this car was built in Atlanta, Georgia, and we bought it in Alabama, so I'm assuming it's lived down south. Um, I'm also assuming that by how clean the body and the floors are underneath. Uh, our original floors and the braces, the floor pans, the inner rockers, the lower quarters down underneath there, clean original metal. I didn't see anything rotten or patched or covered up with uh, you know, any, any type of goo or anything like people use to hide rust. It's all original and really nice and clean and solid. As far as the mechanical condition, all of our cars are inspected. We've got a uh, big shop facility. Every car is test driven and uh, inspected on the lift by our lead mechanic. Uh, this one's been maintained as needed. So there's miscellaneous parts that do look fresh. Front, <coughs> front end components do look good. Uh, the shocks have been replaced more recently. They're actually air shocks in the back. Uh, it has a dual exhaust system. Uh, these have what they call an X frame. So the exhaust follows the frame real nicely. It has some glass packs on there. You'll like how it sounds. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Uh, fuel tank is clean. Like I said earlier, they did upgrade to disc brakes in front. They were all drums at that time, but this does have disc. E-brake is all hooked up. Uh, you look up at the motor. It's nice and clean. The starter is clean. It is upgraded from a Power Glide automatic to the Turbo 350. It gives you one more extra gear. Uh, which just makes accelerating and highway cruising much nicer. Uh, has the original rear end in the back. So again, the re, uh, recap underneath is rock solid original metal. Uh, mechanical uh, condition is real good, maintained as needed. Now let's look at the body. Well, the roof is straight, no problems there. This is all straight metal, absolutely straight. These trunks are so big and flat. I always said you take this trunk lid off, it looks like a truck. Uh, but anyway, you got the little wings here, straight. No issues, no bubbles, no, no problems with the body whatsoever. Looking down the side of the car, absolutely straight. Uh, all the way down to the bottom, there's no rust, no bubbles. Yeah, even underneath the very edge here, it's all clean original metal. It has fender skirts, they're metal skirts, they fit real nice. No issues, no body work, no rust, no bubbles. The gaps are really nice. Watch this. You know I love this. That's beautiful. So the door shuts like new. Bottom of the fender, all nice and clean. All lines up nice. Straight, beautiful. The body's excellent on the car, folks. Like I said, it was born this color, horizon blue. I haven't seen this color before. It's beautiful. And the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's all one color. And it's polished very smooth and glossy. Very, very wet appearance. Extremely minor imperfections if you look for them. Uh, really, like a, a nick the size of a pen tip right there. I think there's a little nick on the back too, but uh, insignificant flaws. Yeah, right here is the worst one. Here's a little tiny chip right here. It's the worst flaw I see. The chrome is exceptionally nice. 
It does have the little bow tie mirrors on both sides, so it's an option to have the dual mirrors. It has the little side visors here, these little stainless steel visors. I think that's so you could leave the window cracked down a little bit. Um, all this stainless trim, all straight and shiny. Has the uh, cross flags. I think that designates the 348 motor. You got dual rear antennas. They look new. But all this trim is polished. It's all smooth, shiny, straight, all looking really good. All this stuff. This panel here must be new. The bumper's all re chrome. The taillights are sparkling. It's all beautiful chrome. Same on this side. All the trim is straight, shiny. All this here looks like new. Got the little stone shields here. The glass looks to be a uh, good original, real faint wiper mark. Uh, so that's original glass, but real nice. Tires, they are radial white wall tires, the Coker Classics, uh, with the nice Impala hubcaps. Also has the cross flags in the middle there. And the chrome up front is all redone and sparkling. All the trim, the whole grill. Look at that, it's beautiful. That's gorgeous. So she's a good looking car. Let's open it up. I got a lot more to show you. All right, let's see what it looks like inside this giant trunk. Well, under the trunk lids painted real nicely. Same with the jam, it has new soft weather strip. Now inside the trunk is all solid metal. It has the complete liner kit. The rubber mat on the floor, you got the cardboard panels behind the seat and on the sides. Now they even sprung for a fifth matching Coker Classic White Wall, matches the other tires on a blue rim. They got an extra hubcap. The jack assembly is underneath that. And that contraption right there is a CD changer. Clean and complete trunk compartment. You know, this is one of those cars at a car show or cruise night. It's just going to stand out. It's just gorgeous. Door jams are painted clean, no rust. Weather strips are soft. The door panels are new. Reproduction, including the armrest, handles, all that looks really nice. Now, the dash, the metal's painted nicely. Upgraded uh, set of match gauges. They fit right in the factory hole. They've put in a tilt column here. And they've also, this is, a, this is a correct steering wheel, but it's shorter, uh, smaller diameter, so you can just fit in here a little easier, a little more room. The shift indicator is upgraded to a three-speed automatic. There's a retro stereo, fits right in the dash. Now down below, this is the XM satellite. I'm sure you'll have to buy a subscription. And then the AC uh, vents are neatly uh, mounted under the dash as well. There's a little fading or discoloring in the carpet right here. That is the nice blue and black speckled carpet with matching mats. Seats are reupholstered in the, the two-tone blue with the houndstooth cloth inserts. The back seats reupholstered. Now the side panels and armrests in back are original in good shape. And I believe the headliner is actually original as well. The dome lights work. And then the matching visors, the stitching's come undone right there on the edge. So very nice, nice, clean, beautiful interior. Sharp looking. Very 1960. Okay, so we've got a 348 engine. That's a big block engine. Uh, it's rated at 250 horsepower. Does have an upgraded Edelbrock four barrel underneath there with an electric choke. We got the chrome air cleaner and valve cover combo there. Uh, upgraded dipstick. This paint you see on the firewall, that's the original blue paint. Uh, it's never been resprayed. The heat and AC system, all upgraded. And they've also upgraded it with an aluminum radiator so the car itself can run cool. And we do have power steering hiding down there, a chrome alternator, a chrome power brakes uh, system. Under the hood has the insulation. 
So very respectable motor compartment, and it's got good stuff. A 348 air steering and brakes. There's that nice glass pack rumble to it, a little raspiness. So this is not a nut and bolt body off frame restoration, but it is a clean Southern car to begin with. The car has an outstanding presence. The color, the body lines, the sparkling chrome really makes this one stand out. And then of course the options and the features just make it a, a fantastic car to drive. This is a car, just get in and go cruising, go to the car shows, go get your ice cream, go, go to dinner, whatever you wanna do with it and you will get compliments everywhere you go, guaranteed. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They can get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Really hope you're enjoying the videos. Subscribe, click the bell icon so you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.